And tonight, another legal battle for Mahogany's owner, Liz Rogers. That's right. Tonight, she plans to sue a man who claims she impersonated a police officer as he tried to repossess her car. Not on your sides, Tom McKee just talked with Rogers' attorney and is live with the new information in this case. Tom. Well, that's right. Liz Rogers can't seem to avoid publicity. Two days ago, she agreed to pay Cincinnati one-third of the loan to start Mahogany's restaurant at the banks. Yesterday, she launched plans for an ice cream business and food trucks serving wings. But now, she's locked in a battle over accusations she broke the law, and she's fighting back. 7 o'clock Tuesday morning, the UDF, Hamilton Mason and Sinday Roads in Westchester. Rogers and her husband are approached by a repossession man, Justin Omar, to take their car. They refuse, saying it's paid off. Omar files a report with Westchester police, claiming that Rogers stated that she was a police officer. Liz Rogers' attorney, Robert Crosskery, says his client categorically denies that anything like that happened. She absolutely does not impersonate a police officer to this repo man or, or anybody else that I'm aware of. She did not impersonate a police officer. The repo man was aware that this was a false statement at the time he made it. You don't have any proof that she made such a statement. What happened next has Crosskery saying that things went from strange to stranger. And Crosskery says the repo man threatened to go to police if Rogers and husband Trent didn't turn over the car. It's obvious that he intends to capitalize on, uh, on Liz, Liz's name to attempt to extort something from her. Instead, what he will be confronted with is criminal charges for making a false statement and a probable civil suit for a defamation. Looks like there's a legal battle on the horizon. I talked with Justin Omar by phone just a few minutes ago and told him what Rogers' attorney said. He wouldn't let me record the conversation and then told me he wasn't able to comment at all. Carol? Tom, thank you. 